I want to praise Chuck Schumer to the high heaven. He may not like it, but I think he's shown great courage on this deal with Iran. And my greatest fear there is we're going to revive their economy. They're going to have many dollars to give to many radical groups who work against our interests and the interests of a lot of our friends. Ohio governor and Republican presidential candidate John Kasich on CNN praising New York Senator Chuck Schumer for taking a stand against the Iran deal. With Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth back with you now on Newsmax Prime. Let's welcome in someone who knows about war firsthand. Joining us right now from Memphis, Tennessee, Joshua Hood, decorated military veteran turned author. His book will be released next Tuesday. The name of it, Clear by Fire, a search and destroy thriller. Joshua, we want to start things off by asking you, what's your take on the Iran deal? Well, I think that uh, a deal was necessary eventually. Uh, I think foreign policy in the Middle East on the part of the United States militarily hasn't exactly worked out for our benefit. And I think that some type of dialogue had to be reached eventually. And I understand that during our election year, no one's really going to agree on anything. But I believe that the United States is looking for a partnership. And I, I hope that Iran is also looking for a partnership. Well, that is a surprisingly optimistic view, Joshua, especially when I understand your brother, who likewise is a veteran, uh, had an encounter with a bomb from Iran and he survived it. Are, do his thoughts differ from yours a little bit? Uh, it's funny you ask. My brother and I talked about that recently, uh, actually before I knew I was coming on this show. And his opinion and my opinion were actually pretty close. We, and I believe a lot of veterans, realize that Iran has worked both in Syria, in Iraq, and in Afghanistan against U.S. forces. But... Uh, I don't think that's the issue that we're trying to deal with right now. I think we're trying to find a way to deal with Iran in some way other than militarily so that we can, you know, try to have a responsible conversation about their nuclear program. Well, a lot of people say we can't trust Iran based on Iran's past. Do you trust Iran? I don't personally trust Iran, but I believe that if you're going to look at a deal objectively from both parties, you have to ask yourself as an American, what have we given other countries that they can trust us? And I think that if we're entering uncharted territory, in my opinion, and I, I like to be optimistic about it and the future of the United States, which I love and uh, was honored to fight for. But I, I think that too long in America and too long in politics, we've looked to the past and we want to say that the decisions are going to be the same. But sometimes you just have to step out there and hope that you know a new future can be reached well you stepped out there uh, to become an author and now you've got this book that'll be released tuesday clear by fire i'm really enjoying it i just have to ask you how much of this is based on directly what you went through during your days in the military i think all of the book in one way or another is inspired by my time in the military it was really a labor of love when I began it, and I wanted, I wanted to be able to take the audience into the world that not too many people get to see. I think it's less than 2% of the American population was in the military, and even smaller than that was in the infantry. So I really tried to transport the readers into the world that I lived for four years, that my brother lived for four years, and make it uh, something very accessible to both veterans and civilians alike. If you were going to tell viewers that there was one thing that you wanted them to take away from reading your book, what would that be? I'd like them to take away from reading the book, and I think it marries very well with the conversation we're having, is that there is always a cost, both visible and unseen, to war, both to the people that fight and um, to the people at home. And I hope I was able to convey that within the story that I hope was very action-packed, that uh, war changes people, and it's always easy to say we can go over there and force our way upon the Iranians or whoever we're talking about at the present. But I hope that eventually we can come to the point where that's not necessary. Uh, Joshua, 30 seconds to get your insight on this. Actually sitting down to write a book. 
Did that change you in some way? And, and how did you do this? Did you just set aside a certain amount of time every day to write? How did you come up with a new book, Clear by Fire? Well, the genesis of the book started in Afghanistan. And uh, once I got out, it kind of grew from there. And yes, it did change me. It was very cathartic. And in a way, it was a journey that made me grow outside of my own comfort zone, kind of like being on TV for the first time. You don't really know what to expect, and you just hope that you're accepted for what you look as an honest uh, story and an honest perspective. Well, we appreciate your honest perspective, Joshua Wood. Again, the name of the book is Clear by Fire. You heard what Josh had to say. What is your take on his comments? Here's how you let us know. Go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We're coming right back.